Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week two overview, September 10th all the way to September 14th. During this week, we are going to be introduced to 1.2, which is the cell structure. First lesson, we are going to explore the parts of a cell and identify the plant cells. So exploring the parts of a cell, cells have various components that work together to carry out their functions. Some key parts of a cell include the cell membrane, which acts as a protective barrier and control the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Nucleus contain the genetic material and regulate cell activities. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance where many cellular processes occur. Within the cytoplasm, you will find organelles like mitochondria, which produce energy, and the endoplasmic retic reticulum involved in protein synthesis. Other important organelles include the Golgi apparatus, responsible for processing and packaging molecules and the lysosome which break down waste materials. Each part of the cell plays a crucial role in maintaining the cell's overall function and ensuring its survival. So technically, we are going to understand the cell and the parts of the cell as whole and then we are going to dedicate each day to study in details about part or an organelle. So, we are going to identify plant cells and parts of the plant cell. Plant cells have additional structures that are unique to them. In addition to the cell membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm, plant cells have a cell wall made of cellulose, providing structural support and protection. Also contain chloroplasts, which are responsible for photosynthesis and contain the pigment called chlorophyll. Vacuoles are larger in plant cells and help maintain pressure, giving plants their rigid feature. Plant cells also have specialized structure and that would allow communication between adjacent cells. Second part of the lesson, we are going to identify animal cells and explain organelles in the cytoplasm like nucleus. Animal cells share some similarities with plant cells, but also have some distinct features. Like plant cells and animal cells have a cell membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm. However, animal cells lack a cell wall and chloroplasts. Instead, they have centrals which are involved in cell division and lysosomes which aid in digestion and waste removal. Animal cells also have a more flexible shape compared to plant cells. These unique characteristics allow animal cells to perform specialized functions and contribute to overall functioning of the organism. Then we are going to explain the nucleus. The nucleus is a crucial part of the cell. It acts as the command center, house the genetic material DNA and the nucleus control the cell's activities and contain instructions for making protein and other important molecules. It also plays a vital role in cell division, growth, and reproduction. We are going to talk about the endoplasmic reticulum, which is the ER, is an important organelle in the cell. It is involved in protein synthesis and lipid metabolism. The ER consists of a network of interconnected membranes that extend throughout the cytoplasm. Then we have the pretest on September 13th. Last part of this, not the last part, the middle part of this lesson, which is understanding the Golgi apparatus and the importance of mitochondria. The Golgi apparatus and mitochondria are both essential organelles in the cell. The Golgi apparatus acts as a packaging and distribution center. It receives protein and lipids from the endoplasmic reticulum and modifies sorts and packages them into vessels for transport to their final destination within or outside the cell. On the other hand, mitochondria are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. They are responsible for producing energy through cellular respiration, 
mitochondria convert the nutrients into ATP. We're going to talk about this in detail, which is used as a source of energy for various cellular processes. They are like tiny energy generators supplying the cell with the fuel it needs to function. Both the Golgi apparatus and mitochondria play crucial roles in maintaining the cell's overall functioning and are vital for its survival. In order to achieve these objectives, we are going to have hands-on activities, research activities, and interactivities.